This video will describe different elements of navigation in your web-based courses. You should notice that the navigation menu that is in the short course for a faculty new to online teaching is a little different than the navigation menu that appears out of the box in a brand new Blackboard course. That is because we customized this navigation menu. Now to customize the navigation menu, you can click on this plus button up here and select different options to add to your navigation menu. Most options will be content areas, but we'll also look at tool links and dividers as well. So let's start by adding a content area. A content area is an area where you have content to your course. So um, you'll notice that course modules and Blackboard Learning Achievements, those are all content areas because they're areas where multiple media exists in one place. So I'm going to add this content area here and I'm going to give it a label um, for my students to recognize. And labeling your button is very important. Your students should be able to reasonably predict what is behind that button when they click it. So I want to create an area of my course that represents a syllabus that students can click on it and they'll be able to see all of the requirements for my course. So I'm going to label this syllabus and course requirements. And you'll notice that there is this option here to make the button available to users and by default any new buttons you create are not available to users. So if I don't select this button, it's actually invisible to the user. What that does is it allows me the opportunity to build out what's underneath this button before I actually make it live with students. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit without making it available. And you'll notice that it appears at the bottom of the navigation pane. And I can tell that it is not available because there's a little slash through this box here that shows me that it's invisible to users. Only the instructors or course builders have the right to see this button or to work with what's behind the button. Additionally, I could move this button to different areas of the navigation menu by grabbing the arrows on the left and sliding up or down until I find the spot that I want it to exist in. I can change the labeling of this button or I can make it visible by selecting the drop down option to the right of the button. I can rename the link, I can show the link to students, or I can delete the link altogether. I'm going to delete that now. Whenever you delete a link in your navigation menu, whatever is behind that link is deleted as well. So in this case, that was an empty button, there was nothing in that uh, link. But if I were to delete, say, announcements, all of the announcements that I have created for this course, this one here and this one here, they would disappear with it. So I'm not going to delete any button that has content under it. Instead, I would actually hide it if I wanted it to be unavailable to students. The other area that you might want to consider adding to your course is a tool link. So I click the plus button and I go down to tool link and you'll notice that there's a drop down box beneath this that allows me to select a specific area of the course that I want to have students have direct access to. And the most common ones that I see uh, faculty add or that add value are the My Grades tool link, which allows students to interact with the Grade Center and see all of your feedback right out of the gate, or the email link, which allows you and your students to email one another directly from the course. Um, without having to look up each other's email accounts on the web. So I'm going to add a My Grades area to this course, and I'm going to give that name Grade Center and Assignment Feedback. Because I'm working with the Grade Center, all of my students in this class will be able to get feedback on their assignments by going to this Grade Center button. And I'm going to go ahead and make that available to users and click Submit. So now this button of course appears at the end and I can move it wherever it is I want it. The last thing that I want to talk to you about in the navigation menu is the divider. The divider is simply a line that allows you to chunk various components of your navigation menu. One thing I want to caution you about you can move dividers to wherever it is that you want them in the lineup and it will allow you to chunk different elements of your navigation content like we've done here. However, you also want to make sure that you don't have too many navigation buttons. So you want to try to keep all of your buttons above the fold. The fold is the bottom of the computer screen, the natural bottom edge 
of a computer monitor. So you'll see that here, the bottom of the fold is this button here, which is invisible to students. So it should be when I turn edit mode off, and now I'm seeing what students see, you'll notice that all of my navigation buttons live above the fold of the course. And this is an important web design uh, feature because what this does is it helps students to see at a glance exactly what they're looking for and where they may need to go in, in order to access your course content.